Hello everyone, welcome to Exadmi Redefining Education. My name is Prabhash Kumar and I am teaching you basic concepts of engineering mathematics. For before entering into engineering mathematics, it's quite mandatory for us to know the prerequisites. So till now we have covered the elementary functions. Now next topic we will see is trigonometry. So tri basic trigonometry you know very well that right from your class 6 or 7 you might have studied all these things. So it's let's recap all these. If you want to find the sine theta, so sine theta is what? B by C which is perpendicular by hypotenuse. Cos theta is base by hypotenuse. Tan theta is perpendicular by base. Okay. Now just take the reverse. Cot theta, sec theta, cosec theta. Okay. All these are some child things. So let's proceed further. Trigonometric functions of some common angles. These are some common angles values that mostly we remember actually. So sine 0, 0, sine 30, half and all these. If you are interested, you can take the snapshot and learn it. Now, this is quite important. We used to remember like this, all sine, tan, cos, isn't it? So in this coordinate, that is your first coordinate, everything is positive. That is your all trigonometric functions are positive. Then in this, we have sine positive. In the third quadrant, we have 10 positive and in the last one, we have cos as positive and the rest of that are negative. So many people learn in a different manner, different ways are there to remember. Some remember it with the help of cast diagram, C-A-S-T, some remember all sine 10 cos, okay. So this is the general function. If you can remember this, that's fine, otherwise you can make this four quadrants and you can just analyze in which quadrant which one is positive. Let's see some properties of sine function. We have y equals to sine x. Okay, so this graph looks like this. This is an odd function, you know it. What is the domain? Domain is minus infinity to infinity. Okay, so domain actually means the values of this x that it could take. Okay, so the values of x it could take that is uh, the x value could be either tending to minus infinity or it could go to plus infinity any value it can take x can take any value between minus infinity to infinity and the value of y that you will get will be always between minus 1 and 1 okay so this let's say this is minus 1 and this is 1 so the value of this sine x will always lie within this vertical height okay so the sine function will never go beyond this or below like this okay another thing that you need to remember is the period yes you will need this in Fourier series and transforms subsequent chapters so remember it right here itself so the period of sine function is 2 pi that means after an interval of 2 pi the function repeats itself so as you can see from here to here the function goes the graph goes like this a very smooth curve now again if you go like this so it will be further uh, same graph will be repeated over a period of 2 pi okay now zeros it's a new term actually what is a zero if you don't know this let me tell you the zeros are nothing but the points or the coordinates where the function cuts the x-axis okay so where the function cuts this x-axis I will call those points to be zeros so zeros as you can see we have pi k comma zero so that means k is an integer so if you put k as zero so this will be zero comma zero so the first zero you will get here second zero where it so pi, put the value of k as 1, you'll get pi comma 0. So you'll get the second 0 out here, third 0 out here and so on. Okay. So zeros means the coordinates or the points where the graph or the function cuts the x-axis. Now we have another that is your cosec function, just the reverse of that. So this is also an odd function, the domain range asymptotes period okay it doesn't have any zero why because as you can see the graph is not cutting any x-axis okay so it's not touching the x-axis anyway so these this is the graph which looks like uh, that of a cosec function then we have a cos function so cos here the graph also looks like this these are some fundamentals we are just recapitulating it so that once we finish it we will move into engineering mathematics proper engineering mathematics so here we have the period is also 2 pi the zero values are here okay so we won't be spending that much of time so y is equal to sec x this is the reverse of cos x okay the domain range 
asymptotes period and of course here zero also there are no zeros that means this graph is not cutting this x-axis then we have tan x this is also an odd function the domain range asymptotes period zeros and the graph looks like this then we have cotangent or cot the same values okay then we have some co-function identities yes this is important in order to convert our one function to another trigonometric function you should remember that cos pi by 2 it's written basically in radians if you want to write in degrees so it will be cos 90 minus theta that will give you sine theta okay sine 90 minus theta cos theta and so on like this all these derivations relations then we have some negative angle sine of minus theta will give minus sine theta cos of minus theta will give cos theta so this is an even function you know this is an odd function so once you know this so rest other relations could be calculated easily tan is what sine divided by cos so of course minus divided by uh, plus so this will give you a minus again so these are some fundamental relations then we have some supplement angle identities these all relations sine of pi minus theta will give you some sine theta cos pi minus theta minus cos theta and so on so pause the video take the snapshot put down in your notes then addition and subtraction identities we have sine a plus b cos a plus b tan a plus b sine a minus b cos a minus b tan a minus b okay so just mug all these formulas as it is sine 2 theta will give 2 sine theta cos theta cos 2 theta is cos square theta minus sine square theta so somewhere this formula is being used somewhere this one somewhere this one so it's suggested that you su uh, learn all these different forms of formulas as that once you see the question it should click in your mind that which formula I need to apply especially in integration cases tan 2 theta will give you 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta half angle identities which is sine half that is sine theta by 2 will give you this cos theta by 2 tan theta by 2 sine 2x if you want to convert this in tan you need to use this relation if you want to convert cos into tan you need to use this relation like this some product identities this will help you in integration or integral calculus so it's suggested that you remember here itself okay then we have some sum identities sine a plus sine b sine a minus sine b and so on then we have some pythagorean identities these all relations multiple angle identities just put down all these notes and learn it by heart hyperbolic function yes this will be required in your differentiation integration Fourier series and transforms and all those things so remember it and then we have some hyperbolic identities sin h of minus x will give you minus sin hx cos h of minus x will give you cos hx okay so just like we have some trigonometric identities here we have some hyperbolic identities and this is the last one that is your inverse trigonometric functions need not, need not to remember all these domain and range just see just have an idea that how the graph looks like if you can learn it it's well and good otherwise it's not needed so I just gave you for your uh, quick recap of your school level mathematics till of 11th and 12th okay so once we are done with this trigonometric then we'll be finally entering into the last module of this basic concepts of engineering mathematics which is theory of equations and once we finish that theory of equations we'll, we'll directly jump into engineering mathematics that is your core engineering mathematics of linear algebra okay See you in the next lecture. Till then, bye.